It's right here in our own backyard. Not just Los Angeles County, but Riverside, San Bernardino, San Diego, state of California, and across the nation. And it's alive and well. It's, it's really a lack of knowledge and a lack of awareness. It was a desperate plea, and it was just, my, my daughter's missing. And I need help. The most vulnerable human beings on this planet being children. My name is Andre Dawson. I'm a lieutenant, the officer in charge of the Los Angeles Police Department Human Trafficking Unit. Human trafficking is what they look at now as, as modern day slavery. Do I think that there is a lot of money being made? Absolutely. These are the, the ads that I'm I mean. aware of one case where I was told a pimp paid cash money for two Mercedes being made box in a Bentley. And I'll do the math for you, that's a million dollars. I don't know of any other situation or issue that I've dealt with in my political career that is more horrific. One of the survivors, she had to witness one of her friends burnt to death in the desert because this pimp was attempting to show them this is what happens to you when you turn on us. I think that as a society, we need to focus less on the sensational aspects of what happens in the course of human trafficking and focus more on it as a human rights issue. It's really the human rights issue of our time. I mean, these girls are coming out of our foster care system, uh, domestic violence. I mean, all the issues that we're dealing with and everybody's so outraged about. Some of these young girls have never had a hug. Some of these young girls have never heard the word, I love you. So we have to learn to change the vocabulary if we're going to learn and understand and how to make a difference. They're not child prostitutes, they're not prostitutes, they're victims. There's a role for every single American to play. Years ago we had this thing called War on Drugs, and I really think we should have a war on, on child sex trafficking.